Pakistan is somewhat of a difficult country if you believe what you hear or read or watch on television. But it's also a country with enormous talent, and especially corporate talent, and definitely in the financial services industry. The bank that wins the award for leadership for Pakistan is a bank that we've become familiar with. And I personally have visited the bank, and you could just as well be visiting a bank in Hong Kong or Singapore in terms of the professionalism of its staff, in terms of the systems that it has in place, and the caliber of its management team. The man who made this possible and makes his bank, in our view, by our scorecard, the strongest bank in Pakistan is Mr. Atif Bajwa, the chairman and CEO of MCB Bank in Pakistan. for this recognition and as Emmanuel has just said these are trying times in Pakistan and it is really heartening to see the encouragement that we get from awards like this. Philippines is an interesting country in that it is dominated by a few large institutions, and yet there's a lot of competition and talent coming from the smaller institutions in the country. So maintaining your position and still being profitable is a very difficult task indeed in the Philippines. And in order to do that, sometimes you think that it's a function of innovation, of being imaginative, of being creative. But the man who wins the award for leadership in the Philippine banking industry demonstrates at the end of the day that it is being conservative and not necessarily high risk taking that counts for maintaining your franchise in a confused and in a highly competitive marketplace. For standing over and above his competitors, for maintaining his franchise and for not budging. The award for leadership achievement for the Philippines goes again to Aurelio Gigi Montinola, the CEO of GPI Bank. I would like to thank uh, QFC and the Asian Banker for this unique and prestigious award, managing in good times, managing in bad times, and managing in a rebound year. I would also like to thank my wife, King, for her unwavering support and good advice over the years, and allowing me to do what I like to do, banking, rather than what I was trained to do, family business. I would also like to thank my DPI colleagues, fellow Filipino bankers, Filipino businessmen, 
and the regulators for learning the lessons well of the Asian banking crisis. This has helped us to escape a recession last year and to keep banking an honorable profession in the Philippines. Thank you. Honorable profession, despite the competition that is fighting in the heat. Singapore is an interesting country because it's also the home of the Asian banker. And so we tend to be far more critical about the leaders of our banks here than we are of any other country in the region. And the man who wins the award for leadership achievement in Singapore has been the subject of a lot of criticism from the Asian banker. He stood over and above those criticism, he's proved us wrong. And he's proved us that he's a man who's able to build a franchise that is not only Singapore's strongest performing bank with financial strength outstripping local rivals, but also one with the, with the best balanced overseas banking franchise. Through the bank's acquisition of a significant private banking business, this bank has taken advantage of opportunities when it presented itself to go into a brave and ambitious new direction, one of only a few players capable of doing so, and in the hands of an accountant called David Collar. something here. <laughs> Emmanuel, Emmanuel in his blog called me an accountant. Uh, uh, the last thing I am is a trained accountant. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Emmanuel. I've been a banker, frankly, all my life. Uh, thank you to Asian Banker, to the QFC. Uh, this is uh, humbling, and uh, I am very, very honored to receive this award. Of course, one couldn't achieve uh, anything of this sort, in particular the strongest bank in Singapore without a, a very exceptional management team and we have many of our members here including our colleagues from the Great Eastern Life Insurance Company here tonight so I want to thank them in particular. They've uh, been a very dedicated, very